On October 7th, Palestinian fighters from Hamas launched an offensive into Israel by land, air, and sea, killing 700 people with reports that Hamas has taken hostages back into the Gaza Strip. It was the deadliest incursion to Israel in modern history. In retaliatory attacks, Israel has launched rockets into Gaza and killed 590 Palestinians and injured 2,900 more, and declared war on Hamas. But how did we get here? According to the Associated Press, Hamas said the attack was in response to rising Palestinian suffering due to Israel's occupation of the West Bank, the blockade of Gaza, discrimination in East Jerusalem, and tensions around holy sites. Let's break this all down. 70% of Gaza's residents are refugees who were pushed into the territory in 1948, when Palestinians were forced out of their homes to make way for the creation of the State of Israel. The Strip is one of the most densely populated places in the world, with around 2.2 million people living in a space that is 365 kilometers squared. They've been living under conditions that human rights groups have likened to an open-air prison and blocked in by a heavily secured fence, one that was broken down during Hamas's operation. Hamas took power of the Strip in 2007, and since then, Israel has imposed a blockade on the territory, heavily restricting travel in and out of the Strip, limiting access to electricity and the import of food and fuel. These bleak conditions included a lack of adequate drinking water and a nearly 50% unemployment rate. In the West Bank, which has been occupied by Israel since 1967, there has been an increase in settler violence in Palestinian villages and lethal raids and airstrikes in West Bank villages like Janine. In 2022, the United Nations documented three settler-related incidents each day in the West Bank, the highest since 2006. The attack comes on the heels of recent negotiations aimed at normalizing relations between Israel and Saudi Arabia. This would lead to Iran being more isolated in the region, and Iran is Hamas's ally. This could further explain the timing. Israel and Hamas have been involved in armed conflicts since 1987. Death tolls for Palestinians and Israelis are still rising, and fighting is expected to continue.